we're going to use the equation to help us fill in the table. So this is going to be 4 times 1.5. Well, 4 times 1 is 4, and half of 4 is 2. So 4 and 2 together would give me 6. 3 times 1 and a half. Well, 3 times 1 is 3, and half of 3 is 1 and a half. So 3 plus 1 and a half would be 4 and a half. Then we're going to divide because it gives us the y this time. It doesn't give us the x. So 15 divided by 1.5. And that should be 10. Your job is to fill in the remaining tables in your composition book. In the figure shown, triangle DEF is a scale drawing of triangle ABC. Our job is to figure out the scale factor. Remember, the scale factor is essentially the constant of proportionality for drawings. So I'm going to compare what's called a corresponding side. So 4 and an eighth corresponds with 8 and a fourth. 3 and a half corresponds with 7. Six and a half corresponds with three and one fourth. They, they're grouped together, like you see here. So to determine the scale factor, we are going to divide, just like we did before, the y by the x. Well, in scale drawings, this is like the new drawing divided by the original drawing. So we're going to take that new length, three and a half, and divide it by seven. Well, three and a half can be rewritten. Three times two is six, plus one more makes seven over two. And we can change to multiplication and flip the fraction over. Seven times one is seven, two times seven is 14, but that reduces to one half. So the scale factor, we can also use K, like we did for constant of proportionality, is one half. Create a scale drawing of the geometric figure by using the scale factor of two thirds. I'm going to use several side lengths from this picture. I see that this is one, two, three, four, five, six wide in the original picture. Well, six times two thirds. 6 times 2 is 12, and 12 split into 3 parts is 4. So I'm going to draw a segment that is 4 wide. For the next piece, I see that this is 3 pi. 3 times 2 thirds. 3 times 2 is 6, and 6 divided by 3 is 2. So I'm going to make this one be too tall. You can see I have too tall here. Then this one is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 7, 8, 9 tall. 9 times 2 thirds. 9 times 2 is 18. And 3 fits into 18 6 times. So this is going to be 6 tall. And for this section across the bottom, this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Well, 12 times 2 thirds would be 24 thirds, but 3 fits into 24 8 times. So we're going to slit off 4 in each direction and then connect them. So here I have a scaled version of that original picture.
In question 3, it says a scale drawing of the triangle shown must be produced by using a scale factor of 1.5. Determine the corresponding measurements of the scale drawing and record them in the table. All measurements are shown in centimeters. So we are going to calculate by using the scale factor what those new dimensions should be. Well, 5 times 5 is 25. 5 times 1 is 5 plus 2 more gives us 7. Then we're going to use that place value spacer. 1 times 5 is 5, and 1 times 1 is 1. Adding those up, 5 plus 0 is 5. 5 plus 7 is 12, and 1 plus 1 is 2. I see there are two decimal places in the question, so I need 2 in the answer which means in the scale drawing it should have dimensions that are 2.25 centimeters. Now we're going to use the next one. 4.2 times that scale factor of 1.5. 5 times 2 is 10. 5 times 4 is 20. Plus 1 more is 21. Put in that spacer, 1 times 2 is 2, and 1 times 4 is 4, 0 plus 0, 2 plus 1, 4 plus 2, I see 1, 2 decimal places in the question, so put 2 in the answer. And for 5.1 times the scale factor of 1.5, 5 times 1 is 5, 5 times 5 is 25, 1 times 1 is 1, 1 times 5 is 5. 1, 2, 1, 2. Henry's teacher tells him that figure B is a scale drawing of figure A. She asks him what scale factor relates figure B to figure A. He responds that the scale factor is 2. Is Henry correct? Explain. We need to write out parts that are corresponding. So the base in both of these pictures, we have 4 and 6. Those are corresponding. And then the height in both of these pictures, 2 and 3. It told us figure B was the scale drawing, so we put the dimensions from figure B in the scale drawing side. Now to determine the scale factor, we do new divided by original. 6 divided by 4 could be rewritten as 6 fourths. Or that could reduce to 3 over 2. But that is not a scale factor of 2. If we did 3 divided by 2, that is also a scale factor of 3 over 2. Or it could be rewritten as 1 and a half. So is Henry correct? No. Henry is incorrect. The scale factor is 3 over 2, not 2 like he said. Please make sure your warm-up tables are filled in and your workbook is completed.